This is the Elgin Thumper. Stick around and you'll find out why I consider this to be the best-in-class wearable speaker. When you lift the speaker, you may be surprised by its weight. It is made with ballistic-grade impact-resistant plastic, and there's got to be a decent-sized battery in here as well. On both sides, you will find textured rubber grips to make it more grippy. The Thumper has a flat bottom. You can stand this upright on a surface and it will not tip over providing the surface is steady. For mounting options, you could use this clip to attach it to your clothing or some other kind of strap. You also get two of these magnets that attach firmly to the Thumper's clip. Why would you want a magnet clip? You can attach the Thumper through your clothing. It doesn't come with a lanyard, but I imagine you could string one through the clip here and just wear it around your neck. I have reviewed other wearable work speakers, and yes, you can throw them in a toolbox and they're super tough and water resistant and dust resistant and all that. But this speaker has two things that I haven't seen before. Feature number one is this 100 lumen work light. It may not sound very bright, but it's pretty bright. Feature number two is obvious in retrospect, but I don't think anyone else is doing it. It is the angled speaker. Most wearable Bluetooth speakers have a driver that projects the sound in front of you. The thumper points the sound toward your ears. Seems obvious and it makes a huge difference. With a name like the thumper, it's got to have a lot of bass, right? Well, hmm, we are dealing with the laws of physics. You cannot get a ton of bass out of a little speaker like this. You can get a satisfying amount of bass, but you have to keep the speaker at moderate volumes. If you do that, then the bass will sound good compared to the higher frequencies. If you go higher than 60%, then the higher frequencies start to overwhelm the bass, and pretty soon that's all you hear. Plus, Elgin says at 50% volume, you can expect 35 hours of playback on a single one and a half hour charge. You could skip charging for a day or three. The Elgin Thumper does support TWS mode, true wireless stereo, so you could wirelessly connect a pair of these, one on each side of your head, for a true left and right channel stereo experience. From time to time, I will get questions about a battery level indicator. When you first turn on the Elgin Thumper, it will tell you what percentage your battery is at. And when the battery drops to 10% or less, it does start flashing red. I don't know if this is unique to the Elgin Thumper or if it's common to all Bluetooth speakers, but they specifically tell you do not store or use the Elgin Thumper in hot environments of 105 degrees Fahrenheit or greater. What do you think? Is this the best wearable work speaker you've ever seen? I think so, and I'm going to give it a five out of five star rating. Thanks for stopping by.